Hey guys, um, let me turn down the music and then I'm going to talk about where I am in this painting and um, how I've hit what I think a decent set of road markers. All right, be right back. All right, so doo -doo -doo, let me get through over there so we can talk. All right, here we go. All right, so I... This, we've talked about how many layers. Now, you guys, if you're thinking it's only two layers is going to get you a sensation, you got to um, think about that because it's about building up. And I think I've been talking to some, uh, some of you in here about step-by-step um, -step pro uh, step -step process of clarification. Now, I'm looking up at that um, fabric up there, that green, and I see orange popping around in it all over the place, right? And I feel like down in here it gets a little bit more just neutral green, but up in here, tons of orange. So I'm not necessarily, maybe I put the folds in later, but I adjusted that green. I was looking for that green, and I went with a sap green with a lot of white, and then what I thought was enough, yellow in it. And I added some purple also to neutralize that green a little bit more. So I thought I had the right value. I wasn't. I was still too cool, too minty. And so I just decided to take a big plunge and I put in a ton of, or a good portion of orange in the paint, in the zap green with white. And then I feel like, wow, yeah, now I start to get a sense of it, right? Um, it's looking flat. It's not glossy or anything like that. It's pretty flat. But I think if I put like a gloss medium on top of that, you'd probably see those oranges pop more, all right? So that took like three, four, five layers to get there. And me constantly looking at the color sensation and trying to get closer to that base color, which is the green with the orange sitting on top of it. All right. So I went back in here and did that. I think I talked about that in the last video. I'm still not happy with it. Um, I think I'm too light here value wise and I'm too purpley and I'm not crimson enough. Down in here, I start to go like, yeah, I see that sensation. Over in here, that needs to go deeper. And up in there, that's just a little bit dark. So I'm going to go in with the crimson, right? And I'm going to adjust this and then drop a crimson on top of that and allow that darker edge to happen. All right? Down in here needs work. That's going to be the burnt umber ultramarine blue combination with white in it right and i might i'm think i'm picking up some green in there so i might drop in some of that sap green in that combination um the shadows the shadows are always interesting because i'm looking at that shadow and i, I feel like i did a good job in that shadow when i look up there because i feel like the purple's ending up in there so my green was a sap green with purple in it again and then more purple in the darker area and then there's some like uh, lighter areas inside that shadow like in there I think I'm too deep value wise that wants to be a lighter green in there and then lighter green in there but you know when you add white to the to the paint it makes it opaque which it'll sit on top so you have to thin it out to get it to sit there and then it's an adjustment of how much water to put in there or how many layers to hit because I actually want that green the base green to come through the lighter green on top but I want the lighter green to be the dominant color there i guess um this guy was just ultramarine blue um burnt umber some purple some white and adjustments that's the painting up there which is from a photograph of a baseball pitcher way back in the playoffs he just gave up a game losing home run and so when i saw that photograph i was working on a narrative paintings there and putting many paintings together to form a narrative and that was one of them anyway so back to here i wanted to get this update to you and then i'm aiming for this guy and i'm going to clean my palette get set up and i want to work this while i'm recording okay so the idea is to look for the this color in here the darker color the lighter color which is just an orange with some white in it, maybe some um, yellow ochre in that orange in both of them. It's not an intense orange, it's more a muted earthy orange. And then up in here is gonna be, oh, that's a tough one because that wants to go like yellow and purple because that's a combination up in there. That color is yellow and purple. 
darker purple are is, I can see it up in there. They pop up in here. And then the lighter neutral yellows are in here. So it's a matter of finding the right yellow, which I don't think I want to mat, uh, mix the cadmium yellow with the purple to get that. I think I got to go with the ultra, I mean the yellow ochre, the earth tone, because it really does read earth tone. Up in there, I got to do the same thing that I'm doing down in here, which is going to be the burnt umber, ultramarine blue. And then I, you know, I, the more I look at those shadows in there, the more I see certain things. And I think I have some process blue and I might drop some plot process blue in there to give it a little bit of a pop. All right. And then down in here will be the last move. Um, that guy, the next video, that'll be what it's focused on. Let me get my palette clean and then let me get the paint set up and I'll walk you through just painting that out. All right, guys, see you soon.